creators, welcome to the channel and today we're talking about the best portable LED light. What I have in my hands right now is the small rig RM120. This little guy has served me well. I was recently filming a documentary called Dialysis about one of my close friends who is right now on dialysis because she's looking for a kidney. And this little light served as the side profile. So on the documentary, I was using my small rig with a big soft box from the front. And then actually from the side, I was using this little guy on a little stand. It's got an extra long battery life. And we're gonna check out some cool accessories that this thing comes with. Probably the most important accessory that comes with this light is this softbox. And once you slip on the little silicone softbox, you can actually see you can still mount it from the bottom or from the side, which is really handy. This video is not sponsored by Small Rig, but I love this light. And this light can last three hours, like three hours continuous lighting. Now that's pretty significant. Now you can also power it continuously through USB-C, but in case you're remote anywhere, it's perfect. As you can probably see in this video, I'm running 5,600K right here, but then I'm running 3,000K right here. So it's two different white balances. And this light does it all. It ranges from 2,500K all the way to 8,500K. That's ridiculous. Like, check this out. So first, I'm turning off the front light, and then second, the side light. Now, this right now is 2,500K. As you can see, I'm really yellow because I'm keeping this, the white balance of my edit exactly the same. So now I'm gonna start changing the white balance. As you can see, it shot all the way out to 8,500, and now it's back at 2,500. And you'll probably see in my other videos, I actually have this light shining next to my computer screen. So this is what it looks like. So now if I put my side profile light back on, and then I can turn the front light back on, then you can actually see the contrast of the white. I have my 5,600K, my 3,000K, I have another 5,000K here looking at my drone, and then I have 2,500K right at the back. So then I get this contrasting white look. So this light actually does color as well. So let's check it out. I'm gonna turn off the front light and that way you can actually see the different colors that this light is making. So right now we have red. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump through all the colors and then this way you'll be able to see how it goes through all of them. Yeah, there we go. Now, on top of all these color changes, it also has 12 unique effects. Everything from ambulance lights, police like SOS, welding lights, like it's pretty cool, static TV, fireplace. So at the back of the light, as you go through set, this is actually the first one, which is called a welding. So I'm assuming if you put this in the background somewhere and you, whether it's through a window or maybe it's shining on your back wall as you're doing effects, this is the, the welding preset. This is SOS. As you can see, it's three fast, three slow. And you can put this in the background, like this can be shining there at the back while your front light's perhaps going. And it's pretty unique. You can also change the color to white. You can change the color to green, yellow, or back to red. Now then you can also change the next one, which we have pulsing, which is just a pulsing of a color. And again, you can actually switch through all the colors as well. You also have paparazzi. So this is just an, an, an effect to simulate people taking a lot of pictures of you. You can also change the white balance of the paparazzi flashes. Uh, there's also a loop uh, of a CCT. So it just keeps on looping through the whites. It just keeps going through different color variations of whites. Well, actually white color temperatures. And you've also got lightning. You know, my, my window's right there. So if I actually put this there and I shine it on our, my back wall, it will actually simulate lightning happening in the background. Now again, with this, you can also change the white balance of the lightning happening. Uh, there's also a faulty bulb. So the bulb essentially just flashes a bit and you can also change the white balance of this faulty bulb. Then you have a TV preset, which is a continuous color of white. Now it changes. So it change, actually changes between 4,500K and it jumps up to like 6K. And, and, and that way you get the faulty TV effects of one color and then it jumps between the two. It slowly cross fades back to the other one and then it quickly suddenly goes fast and slow. It's pretty cool. The next effect is fire. So you actually have this dimming up and down of the fire, um, slight variations between orange and red. And, and you know, as you, could, as you just saw the quick 
flash and, and it's pretty cool. So it, it goes up and down as well. Again, if you want to run that in the background while you're maybe filming outside, whatever you're doing, it's a unique effect. You have random CCT, or again, random whites. That's that keeps on flashing between. Um, now maybe this is your your unique TV, like someone's watching TV. Like let's say I'm watching TV, where is it? Right here. I'm watching TV, you know, with horror music playing right now. Maybe a close zoom on the camera towards my face. I don't know. You have fireworks going, you know, if, if I've never really understood the fireworks one. It's just the colors keep on fading in and out. Maybe if it was like these explosions, it would have made more sense. It's not really fireworks. Uh, alarm them. Now this one is probably one of the most unique ones that I've seen that I'd probably use the most. Now this right now is a police police car, right? The blue and red going. So like you could just imagine if, if something's happening and you're running this in the background with your primary lights on your face and you're like, officer, this is what happened today. I know I'm in a lot of trouble, but I just want to say Christianity is true. You know, I know whatever you want to say. But not only does it have police, but it also has uh, fire trucks, so just red going. Then you also have ambulance, which is just the blue going, right? And then you go back to the police car. Um, and then it just goes back to the welding. So those were all the presets that it has. And I just love this little light. I'll just leave it on police car mode to wrap up this video. Now this light is in full metal enclosure. Like it feels solid. Like you can throw someone with this thing. It's nice and small. It's compact. You can, you can screw it onto a little plastic stand if you really want to. If you have one of those small rig phone cages, you can actually clamp it on there on one of the cold shoes. Like this light has so many different applications. I mean, Honestly, you could probably just take tape and tape around a stand or some other shelf and it'll act um, as a really good light for you. Now the soft box that comes with it just takes a bit of the harshness out of the whites when you shine it on your face. Um, I'd probably recommend 5600K. It's just a nice daylight light color like this main one that's on me right now. That's probably what I'd recommend if you're using this to film. If you're interested in this light, just go and click on the link in the description. That will take you to Amazon. And if you like it, purchase it. If you don't like it, don't purchase it. It's got good reviews and it'll be a good thing to keep in your backpack. You never know when you need it. I didn't think I was going to use it in the documentary, but it was so handy on just getting the side profile nicely cut out and separated from the background. If you go to my website, that same link is there on the light that's right now featured on my homepage. And I also have a lot of Christian merchandise like this hat, uh, other hats, flip flops, sneakers, uh, patches, you name it. It's there. If you want to go check it out, it'll support me. I'll appreciate it. I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel and that way I'm going to review so much gear if you're getting started as a Christian. Christian content creator. Have a good one.